Hi, this is Robbie again. Today is part one of my multi-part series I'm going to be doing on light modifiers and distance to the subject and how they change the quality of the light depending how far away the uh, light modifier is. Today I'm going to be using a 22 inch beauty dish with a diffusion panel on it on an Alien BB800. I'm going to place it at different distances from myself because I'm the only model at the moment and you'll be able to see how the light will change on my face and the background behind me. As we move the beauty dish closer to us, the light source should produce a slightly softer but more dramatic light. So we'll see if that happens. So let's set the light over here and see what we got. Okay, so now our 22 inch beauty dish is in place. It is to camera right, so my left. It is... It is about six feet from my face. So now let's see what it looks like. So there you can see what it looks like at six feet. Let's bring it closer. All right, position two. The beauty dish is now about three feet away, so the distance has dropped in half. Because of the inverse square law, we will have to also decrease our power. Let me demonstrate that, just same power, half the distance. As you can see, that's quite overexposed, so let's decrease the power. So I just decreased the power from around half to a little bit less than a quarter, and it seems like it's about the right power, which is a light meter. And let's take a test shot at three feet and see what that looks like. All right, let's bring it closer. The beauty dish is now a little bit over a foot, about 16 inches away from my face. Also, my head is 20 inches from the background, just for reference. I'm also gonna have to decrease the power again. So add a little over a foot, you can see that the Beauty Dish's light is still quite soft, but it's starting to become very dramatic. The fall off from one side of my face to the other is pretty extreme because the dish is to one side of my face. Typically, you use a Beauty Dish quite close, and I'm going to move it almost in front of me, and we'll see how that changes things. So I've moved the Beauty Dish to the front. It's almost 45-45, so it's close to a Rembrandt light. Um, the dish itself... It's about 19 inches away from my face. I increased the power up slightly, and let's see what this looks like more head on. Should be less dramatic, and the light should wrap around my face a little bit better. With that, you can see that one side of my face is quite a bit hotter than the other, so, so we really need the beauty dish to be almost head on to evenly light side of the face or be further back. So now the light source is pretty close to straight in front of me. It's still off to my left, uh, still about 45 degrees above. A um, little bit closer to center though. See what that looks like. Now that's not too bad. My face is pretty much evenly lit. Specular highlights are nice. Uh, it seems to depend quite a bit on the angle that you position your head, the type of shadows you'll get under your, your brow. With these, there's almost no shadow at all on this background, which is kind of cool. Let's see if we can do something quite a bit more dramatic. So now the lights, the beauty dish is really close to my head, facing right at me this way. It should hit this side of my face and my nose should cast a shadow. It should fall off because I'm quite close to the light source. Let's see what this looks like. Probably have to adjust the power. Yeah, so there you can see the light actually did wrap around my head uh, fairly well. And this is pretty much because the back edge of the beauty dish is at face level, so Beauty Dish is 22 inches in front of my head, so some of its light can wrap around me. 
if you had it straight, let's do it. So now my head is right aligned with the center of the beauty dish. And we'll see what kind of shadow this produces. So with the beauty dish right next to my head, right at the center of my head, it seems to produce a sharper highlight on my nose and the side of my face is slightly darker. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. Next I'm going to try and do the same exact setup with a um, softbox and a shoot-through umbrella and reflective umbrella just to see the differences in light and distance. Thanks. Bye.